Hey guys, so that was Modern. I got kind of confused because it kind of looked like EDH for living in. Uh, this is Standard. Um, standard, just, I'll go ahead, there's one prime speculation target that you will see, and it's this one. It's currently at about seven bucks. Um, so obviously I have quite a bit of that. And yeah, so it's currently at seven dollars. I, I think it's gonna fall to five dollars. I have a feeling that it's gonna keep dropping, but this is a card that, like I said, I know the the temple was banned. Not the temple, the Eye of Ugin is banned. So his deck that he used to be in modern is not the same deck as it currently is. However, whenever a card dominates modern in the way this card has dominated it, you have to look at it, right, for standard. Because I've always believed that if it's strong enough in modern, it's strong enough in standard. Uh, this card is plummeting in price. It used to be $12, $13. Now it's eight, seven, eight dollars TCG mids. And it's gonna keep dropping. It's gonna keep dropping and I don't mind picking it up because I feel like its power level is insane, especially since I'm making variants of hate bears. Uh, so when I make a deck, I actually make multiple copies of the deck even if I have to get the same card. I know it's really weird, but I just trust me because my friends always wanna play the uh, mirror matches are probably the most fun. Kalidus is actually the most expensive card in Oath of the Gatewatch. Picking up another Kalidus is probably okay. Um, I mean, these manlands, I love manlands, and if you can get a good trade in them, yeah, just add them as an extra. Two Westvale Abbeys, which I just leave up for my um, deck, which kind of is budget, and then some vampires. I do like vampires. I am going to make a vampire deck, and a lot of times, I would say 90% of the trades I make are based on necessity, um, making a new deck. Making a new deck is so hard to trade into because you're trading into a piecemeal and sometimes I do go online to buy it. But the big card obviously would be the not, the not Seer, I think it's just very powerful. Four, four cost, can probably fit in any deck. You take your opponent's best card. It's Vendillion Click even with with one more cost, but you don't need to be in blue. And then another additional benefit that uh, it's a bigger body. It's just a really big body to deal with. So maybe it's modern playable, even without eye, but we will see. I like it a lot and I like it because, you know, when a card can dominate a format like modern, you have to look at it. You have to go into it and crunch, you know, what the card does, how is it unique? I think this card is a very good card, and I would um, obviously I pick I'm picking them up like crazy right now. Anyway, bye guys.